Dinosaurs are the face of the Jurassic franchise, and you can't go into an anticipated sequel without expecting any new species to enter our parks. I I'm here to propose a suitable list of new species that could enter the franchise in Jurassic World Evolution 3. There are many to choose from, but let's have a look at the diversity of dinosaurs that came to this planet during the their 180 million year reign. Let's have a look. So we're going to start with the carnivores. So some of the carnivores I've put here are certainly famous species and highly requested species. The Mapusaurus, one of the largest carcavodontids from South America. Yangchimanosaurus, one of the apex predators of late Jurassic Asia, with Torvosaurus being the equivalent in Portugal and North America alongside Allosaurus. The Beckel slash Ulster Spinax from Chaos Theory is also here as potential, even though a Chaos Theory DLC or update could potentially come to Jurassic World Evolution 2. The Rajasaurus is a potential Abelosaur that we can see added. It's certainly my favourite of the Abelosaurs next to Carnotaurus and Majungasaurus, so I'd certainly love to see its debut in Evolution 3. Macrothorax is one of the largest of the Megaraptorans and would certainly add some diversity to that lineup of animals. Some, some Tyrannosaurs that we could potentially see is the famous Gorgosaurus and the large Daspletosaurus, two of the most notable Tyrannosaurs from the earlier ages of the late Cretaceous. Pycnonemosaurus is the largest of the Abelosaurs currently known and would certainly make a great addition, being a bigger animal than Carnotaurus. Alioramus is another Tyrannosaur that we could see added, and would certainly add to some diversity in the size ratios of the Tyrannosaurs. Though Morris Intrepidus certainly illustrates this, Alioramus would be somewhat a little bit smaller than the Changesaurus that we have right now, and Albertosaurus. Tyrannotitan is another awesome Carnosaur that we could see, and is certainly another great species that South America's lineup could introduce. Dakota Raptor is another large dromaeosaur that we could see added, famous from the Hell Creek formation, though it has had some dubious representation and is somewhat debated as to being a proper species every now and then, it would certainly make a great addition nonetheless. Some other species could be Guanlong, a small Proceratosaurine from Asia or Teratophonius, a species that was actually cut from Fallen Kingdom, but appeared as a carcass. Megaraptor is another awesome species that we could see. The namesake of the Megaraptor and Gen uh, family of dinosaurs. I was about to say genius, Gee, damn it. But the these animals are certainly one of my anticipated animals for a future Jurassic movie. And Fukui Raptor is another Megaraptor that we could potentially see. Dromaeosaurus is a small feathered um, species from Northern America and would certainly make a great addition as a small dromaeosaur with feathers. So I'd certainly love to see that. Abelosaurus is the namesake of the Abelosaurus genus and I would honestly love to see it, even though it's not really well represented in media. But Pectinodon is another tro troodontid and we only have I think one troodontid and that's troodon itself. The Pactinodon is a really cool species on its own, and would add feathers to an otherwise naked genus in the game. Saurophaganax is an interesting one. It is a very popular dinosaur, but it is somewhat like an, a larger Allosaurus. They are very similar, and have often been classed as the same animal, somewhat. You've had Allosaurus fragilis, but you, the Saurophaganax has actually been classed as Allosaurus maximus every now and then. But Saurophaganax nonetheless would make this a fantastic addition. Nanuxaurus, also known as the polar bear lizard, is a, a very notable tyrannosaur from the Arctic of North America. Made more famous by prehistoric planets, this species would certainly make a great addition alongside the Pachyrhinosaurus that we have right now. Cynotyrannus is another mysterious predator from Asia, and I would certainly love to see this larger Proceratosaurine enter the game. Lithorinax 2, another great species from North America to add to the Tyrannosaur diversity. And Gojirasaurus, a Triassic predator that 
is named after the famous movie monster Godzilla. Though it certainly wasn't colossal, it would still be a great animal to see. Our final carnivores would be the Rugops, an abelosaurid from Africa that lived alongside animals like Carcharodontosaurus, as well as Eustreptospondylus, a megalosaurid from the UK during the late Jurassic period, Ornithalestes, a small predator from North America that has had its um, face changed a few times, with walking with dinosaurs portraying with a small crest on its snout, but nowadays seeming to have a rather crestless head. And Elaphrosaurus, a species that was on the Jurassic World holoscape, that would certainly make a great addition here. Moving on to herbivores. There, there are a whole bunch of herbivores that we don't have in the games right now, and certainly a diversity that we haven't really seen added to the game since launch. Shantungosaurus is the largest of the hadrosaurs, and we actually haven't seen any new hadrosaurs for a very long time. Shantungosaurus, though, would be a very worthy addition, especially if we got fighting among the hadrosaurs with predators and among themselves. Shantungosaurus is certainly one of the most notable, being known to fight off its predators. Stegoros is a small ankylosaurus from South America that would certainly make a great addition. A rather recent discovery, it would certainly add to the diversity of ankylosaur appearances with its bizarre tail. Protoceratops is another famous species from Asia, a nemesis to Velociraptor that would certainly make a great addition here, adding to the diversity of the animals from the Nemec formation. Cytocosaurus too, another ceratopsian that would make a great addition as well. Being largely bipedal, it would be much like the Microceratus, just a little bit larger, and it would be great to see the Taco make it into the Jurassic franchise. Onto some Sauropodomorphs, Bajardosaurus, which I talked about in the last video, would, be, would really be a cool addition. I, I love the Bajardosaurus' look, and how Amargosaurus looks as well. I think the sauropods that have long spines on their necks are just so cool, and Bajardosaurus takes that to the extent. Shunosaurus would also be a great addition, a species from the late Jurassic of Asia, and is certainly one of the most notable sauropods to fight back against its predators with a small club at the end of its tail. Argentinosaurus is one of the largest dinosaurs ever discovered, and it would be a shame to leave it out of the Jurassic franchise. And Plateosaurus, a notable species of the Triassic, certainly one of the most famous, found in Europe during the later stages of the Triassic period, it is certainly an animal that a lot of people have wanted to see in the game, and is about to come to Prehistoric Kingdom as well. The Mosaurus is a small sauropodomorph from South America that was actually featured in the Lost World novel, so it would be a great addition to the game to expand a bit of the lore, much like what Segisaurus just did in the Park Managers Collection Pack. Ineosaurus as well would be a great species to see, though not featured in any lore of the Jurassic franchise, it's certainly one of the more famous Ceratopsians, with its distinct hooked nasal horn. Diabloceratops as well is a very famous species, most notably from the Isle, that people largely would know it from. It is certainly a very cool addition, and it was actually discovered by the same man that discovered Utah Raptor, paleontologist Jim Kirkland, or James Kirkland. But it would certainly be a great addition. Diabloceratops is one of my favourites. Cosmoceratops as well, featured as one of the skeletons in the Lockwood Manor in Fallen Kingdom. It would be great to see this guy return with a more fleshed out appearance. Now onto some armoured herbivores. Anodontosaurus was one of the largest ankylosaurs at the end of the late Cretaceous. And would certainly make a fantastic addition here with its distinct club tail. To Oceanosaurus, it would also be a great stegosaur to see added to the game. A large species from Asia, alongside Yangtuinosaurus, we could really expand on that roster. Miragaya is another very famous stegosaur, having one of the longest necks in the family. It is certainly a very interesting looking animal, being one of the only stegosaurs outside of Stegosaurus and To that does not have a shoulder spike. And lastly, Jacopil, a small Ornithischian dinosaur, at least I think it's an Ornithischian. It's a very bizarre animal that was recently discovered, and certainly looks more like an alien or a made-up dinosaur than anything else, but this guy was actually from the Candelaris formation alongside Giganotosaurus. 
Some swifter herbivores, Ornithomimus, would be a great excuse to get a feathered Ornithomimosaur in the game, uh, other than Dinochirus, of course. Ipsilophodon as well would be a great species to see added to the game. More small herbivores are certainly welcome to really flesh out the ground under the much larger species. Predocephaly would be a great opportunity, opportunity I mean, to add a more accurate Pachycephalosaur into the game, with a much smoother head, and yeah, these guys would be great. And Lambiosaurus is also one of the most famous hadrosaurs, being distinct with that hatchet-shaped crest. This animal would certainly be great alongside species like the Carithosaurus, Parasaurolophus, and Edmontosaurus. Riposaurus was a widespread hadrosaur during the late Cretaceous and would certainly make a great addition here. But Hadrosaurus is a very interesting animal, as even though its name seems rather simplistic and giving namesake to the whole group, this animal it was actually featured as part of the original novel's concepts. And I would certainly love to see some expansion on the lore by adding Hadrosaurus in here. Speaking of franchise species, Poloroplites is a mysterious nodosaur that was actually cut from Fallen Kingdom but did appear as a skeleton, and I would certainly love to see this guy added. Tarkia as well is a great species that I would love to see, a large Ankylosaurid from Asia that would really be a cool opportunity to get some more accurate Ankylosaurids added to the game alongside that Anodontosaurus from earlier. Saltosaurus would be a diverse pick for a sauropod as this would be one of the first ones that actually had a bit of armor plating on its back, well, osteoderms I should say, rather than armor plates. We already have Ankylodicus for that. Leptoceratops is a small ceratopsian that has been popular with the community, and would certainly make a great addition as a smaller ceratopsian that is a bit bigger than Protoceratops and Microceratus, with a much larger head as well. Isosaurus is certainly one of my favorite sauropods because of Prehistoric Planet 2, and I would just love to see a bit more representation for the Asian continent. India in particular does not have any animals currently unless Lystrosaurus has a formation there. But with the additions of Rajasaurus and Isosaurus, that region of the world would certainly get some coverage. Edmontonia is another very cool Ankylosaurid, and I would certainly love to see this guy. He's one of the most famous of the Nodosaurids from the Lake Cretaceous. Some other herbivores include Heterodontosaurus, a bit, a bit weird, <laughs> it's, a, it's a weird little fella with those fang-like teeth, it's almost like a mudjak, which is a species of deer among the Ornithischians. Carithoraptor would be a good middle ground for a Oviraptor, as we currently have Gigantoraptor, the biggest of the group, and Oviraptor, certainly one of the most famous members, and currently is also quite small. But Carithoraptor would be some, a great middle ground species. Speaking of middle ground species, Segnosaurus is one of the largest Therizinosaurs we know of, but is significantly smaller than its larger counterpart. Albertoceratops as well would be a great species to see, being a Ceratopsian from North America during that time of the late Cretaceous where you had all sorts of Tyrannosaurs and Ceratopsians. It would be great to get another member of that roster in. Australotitan is one of the most famous dinosaurs from Australia, having its namesake named after the continent. Um, it's, uh, it's one of the largest animals that's ever been disco discovered in the country, and I would certainly love to see some more Australian representation. Leo Elnosaura too is a very notable species from Australia and Antarctica. Well, I think it's actually more Australia. But Leo Elnosaura nonetheless is a very notable species during that time of the Cretaceous, where it was a bit cold, Australia was much further south, and this guy developed a thick coating of feathers. Speaking of animals that live far, far south, Antarctopelta would be another species that could be added to the Antarctic roster alongside Crylophosaurus, a notable ankylosaur of the region. One of the rarest finds of the Lake Cretaceous is ankylosaurs in the south. Lemosaurus is a notable sauropod from the Candelaris formation, one of the major prey sources of Giganotosaurus, it would certainly add to the diversity of sauropods that lived in South America. Cychania is the last ankylosaur I have considered here. This guy, I, I basically just wanted more clubbed ankylosaurs as we have a plethora of nodosaurs right now. So some more ankylosaurs would be great. 
And this guy is certainly another notable species alongside Tarkia that came into contact with species like Tarbosaurus. Bosothosaurus is another species from the Jurassic World Holoscape that would be a great addition. Found in southern Africa, named after the country of Lesotho, this species would be a great addition to that area. Bipiasaurus is another mysterious dinosaur that you don't really see come up too often. It was recently added to the isle, but it was portrayed as somewhat of a cormorant among dinosaurs, when in life it was actually similar to that of a therizinosaur. And finally, a Gujaceratops, a species that you may not have heard of, but is actually part of the Jurassic canon, as its large skull was featured in the Lockwood Manor in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, and for those who've seen the film, the Indoraptor dies on that skull. So it would be, be a great nod to Fallen Kingdom there. Now onto one of my favourite groups of dinosaurs, the Piscivores. So we have a great variety of Piscivores that can be added. Ostroraptor is one of the largest of the dromaeosaurs and it's a specialised fish eater. With webbed feet and a long narrow snout it's a perfect fish trap. Oscaraptor would be a great species especially if we get changes in water depth to see this little fella swimming around chasing after shoals of fish. Pelicanomimus lived alongside the notable concavenator and would certainly be a diverse pick for a piscivore as you don't really think of an ornithomimosaur as being somewhat of a fish eater. Whether it's a true ornithomimosaur I'm not actually quite sure. Irritator is certainly one of the most famous spinosaurs and is perhaps the most notable from South America. With its face changing recently, it could have a very interesting feeding animation having that pelican-like pouch. Some other notable fish eaters include Ceratosuchops, a recently discovered spinosaur from the UK, or perhaps Ichthyovenator, another famous species from Laos. Mashikasaurus is a small carnivorous dinosaur from Madagascar that would, is certainly one of the most famous animals from that country, and I would certainly love to see it here. And lastly, Oxalia, a great opportunity to add a more accurate looking Spinosaurus. Even though it's not Spinosaurus itself, it was very similar in appearance. And I would just love to see it, that sort of Spinosaur in Jurassic World Evolution 3. Now onto the final group of dinosaurs, the Insectivores. So we have a variety of different Insectivores that we can choose from, like the Mononychus made more popular by Prehistoric Planet with this dedicated scene showing it hunting termites, or perhaps Anchiornis, a species known to glide and is one of the only dinosaurs we actually have a good idea on the colour that it had, portrayed with a red crest and white and black feathers. Eoraptor is one of the earliest of the dinosaurs, living in the Middle Triassic I believe of South America, I think living in the same area as that of Herrerasaurus. Ichi is certainly one of the most bizarre dinosaurs. Being a true dinosaur, it is portrayed often with membranous wings, much that similar to a bat. It is very much a dragon in miniature. Microraptor is one of the most famous of the flying dinosaurs, often portrayed as a glider with its four wings outstretched, but it is in fact a bird with well, a dino bird with powered flight, much like its cousin, the Archaeopteryx from the, from the Middle Jurassic, a species found in Germany marked as one of the most famous fossils and one of the most important dinosaur fossils, being the very first to depict feathers. Ceolurus would also be a great addition to the canonical timeline as it is a species that is known to have been on Isla Nublar in, during Jurassic World. However, much like Segisaurus, it would take up that much smaller carnivore um, slot. Epidexipteryx is certainly one of the most bizarre dinosaurs I've ever heard of, with long fingers similar to that of the I.I. lemur, and I have seen recent depictions showing it with Ichi's membranous wings. But nonetheless, this animal would be a very interesting insectivore to see portrayed in the game. And so, there you have it. That is all the dinosaurs that I could possibly think of that Jurassic World Evolution 3 could have. I'm sure there's plenty more, like there's like 1100 species of dinosaur that we know of or more, and we certainly don't have them all, but let me know what your wish list for dinosaurs is for Jurassic World Evolution 3, or perhaps any remaining species that you think Jurassic World Evolution 2 could add before its time is cut short. 
But, yes, we'll be moving on to the Cenozoic species in the next one, and I'll see you then. Enjoy the anticipation for the Jurassic World Evolution 3, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.